No-go Wednesday for what was set to be an historic liftoff. Bad weather postponing the first ever launch by a private company, SpaceX, of humans into orbit. A disappointing delay with the next launch opportunity coming Saturday to send veteran NASA astronauts, Americans Doug Hurley and Bob Bedkin, to the International Space Station. It'll be the first launch with crew on board from U.S. soil in nine years. The U.S. president and vice president traveling to Florida's Kennedy Space Center before the mission was scrubbed. Guests limited here. NASA asking spectators to stay home to lower the risk of spreading the coronavirus. A successful journey poised to be a big boost for billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk company SpaceX and the business of space travel. Just hours before the visit to Florida, Donald Trump lashing out at Twitter after it, for the first time, labeled some of Trump's tweets with a fact check, calling the post potentially misleading or false. The tweets about mail-in ballots after Trump claimed without evidence that voting by mail would result in fraud. Trump threatening to regulate the site or close it down, accusing social media platforms of trying to silence conservative voices, saying Twitter has now shown that everything we have been saying about them and their compatriots is correct, big action to follow. Twitter has declined to remove tweets by Trump, pushing a conspiracy theory, a widely debunked claim that U.S. TV host Joe Scarborough might be involved with the death of a woman, which was ruled accidental some two decades ago. This week, the family of the deceased woman asked Twitter to take down Trump's posts. Again, Twitter declined. Now, some prominent Republicans, members of Trump's own party, including Congresswoman Liz Cheney, are urging Trump to stop posting these baseless claims. Cheney saying they're causing pain to the family of the woman who died, and they're coming in the middle of a pandemic. This on the very day the known U.S. coronavirus death toll topped 100,000. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.